round two of this. It should have happened a lot sooner, but uh, April, I got taken out. COVID came in, uh, bilateral pneumonia stuck me in a hospital. So now we're having to come back a little bit later. It's a little bit warmer. So I had to leave really early in the morning this, uh, this morning. Uh, swapped out the tires already. So you can see we have the Milestar Patagonias here on the, uh, the LJ. We swapped over, put the Mickey Thompsons over on the, uh, the JL. And we'll just see how the, uh, we want to do a comparison as to how they operated last time. So you can see for yourself how this Jeep did with the Mickey Thompsons versus these Milestars and then the, uh, the four-door JL, how it does with the Milestars versus the Mickey Thompsons. Because we figured, no, there's going to be a little bit of difference in the size of the Jeeps, the length of the Jeeps, the weight, and how they handle the, those same obstacles. So something, again, for you to decide what you want and how you want uh, to set yours up. When mine went up, even though I'm running on a different tire, you know, the, the length of the Jeep is almost perfectly set up, but Floyd had me right on a, on a perfect line for that. So there was no slip, 100% grip, got right up over, no problem. But then when Floyd came up, I purposely pushed him down into this hole here. And if you notice this, this right here hangs everybody up. That's why everybody stacks rocks, this big old chunk of quartz, everybody stacks it all in there. Because once you get in there, you're stuck. You're not getting it, you just continue to spin. I purposely got him down in there as I was guiding him, because typically I guide him much farther to the right, but I let him go to the left and he even slid into it. Not a single spin. The, we saw on the last, uh, you know, the first round that we did, those mile stars, even though we tried like crazy to get Floyd out of that and keep him out of that, he still slid into it and spun, 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 spun. Burnt a lot of rubber out of here. Now, we just did it one time and I just want to make sure, and he wants to make sure that wasn't some fluke. We really want to see if those things can go over here, even when we force it further over into a much nastier situation. You know, I, I did push him over right here. And this has also caused a lot of problems. And I put him there because, you know, I definitely wanted to see what those Mickey Thompson do, but I kind of want to stack it in the favor of the Thompson because going over here is a little bit harsher. So let's try it. We're going to go all the way over there and see what it does. This tends to be a real pain in the ass to a lot of people. You get up in here, come up over this, and you get here, and they just spin in this pocket. Well, especially the length of that specific Jeep, it's going to get, you know, your front end's going to be hitting that wall, so that's kind of a, it, you got to be able to pull over it, but if this is not helping you push at the same time that's pulling, just that specific length, length is going to cause problems right here. So we're going to put them in there and see what that tire does. Okay, so you see that how he was sitting there spinning, couldn't get that bite, but they still bit and come up. Anything else, we just sat there. We'd have to completely back down and completely realign it. We've never been able to get anything to bite in there at all, ever. So to me, I'm still impressed, even though it spun, it didn't spin long. And uh, all I had to do was just go go driver just a little bit. One cleat grabbed on to the, uh, to the wall there and just pulled him right over. Pretty damn impressive. We tried a couple different angles with the mile stars, and again, it gets right back to you have, the per have to have the perfect angle. Even with the perfect length Jeep, you still have to have the perfect angle, right? So uh, if they, those lighter sidewalls, they still conform well, they grab the rocks well, they, they mold to them well, but they need to because they don't have the extreme aggressiveness that those Mickey Thompsons have. Now, Mickey Thompson's not fun getting out here on the road, but man, are they awesome out here. Mile Star is much better on the road, but they're also great out here. If you pick the great, a good line, you can. we've made it over damn near everything. It just takes us a little bit longer with them. Now, you saw I got down into, into with that hole and just sat there and span. Had spun and spun and spun, couldn't get anywhere. So, that's for you to look at. You decide what you want. Um, for me, I'm going Mickey's on this sucker all the time. We want to not only bring things like this for something we're passionate about, but we also want uh, to bring data to people where people have become successful, even though face insurmountable odds. We're getting into a really interesting world, a really interesting climate, and it's been good to be able to have real people tell real stories around the campfire, get deep into what that conversation is, because 
people are people are always telling the surface not getting deep into the into what's happened in their life we want to give that so again subscribe hit the like button hit the bell quit jerking off.com put it in the favorites thank you guys